guys, MacMan2212 here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up and use Blackmagic Media Express using a Blackmagic Intensity Pro capture card. Uh, I know I made a video about this, just how I use it with my Xbox, and I'm assuming you already know how to install that physical PCI card into your computer, because I'm not going to make a video of that, because I already did, and I don't feel in is necessary to pull my computer apart just to show you. Go away. So, uh, first you're going to want to install the software that comes with it. I'll pop it in real quick just to show you. And the thing I thought that uh, Blackmagic could have done better with the disc is made an auto run feature for it because you just have to go look through the disk and find the files you need. So I um, I would click on intensity because that's mine and you install a driver. Uh, I wouldn't trust this driver here because this is whatever's on the disk but usually it won't work because they're old so you just need to go to their website to uh, it's not it. You just need to go to their website and click on the right one. Uh, there's always the latest downloads there for the drivers. And here's the manual. It comes with. That's the shuttle. Uh, this is the one right here that you should have. And here are. Here's the diagram of it. Here's the input is the farthest to the right one if you're looking at it straight from the back of your computer. Okay. Go away. Sorry, I'm trying out a new screen recorder. So that's how that works. And then you're going to want to install Media Express. And I think the current version is 2.2. This is old as well. And it's pretty simple from there. Uh, you don't really need to read through this, it's very simple. So I'll go ahead and fire it up. Now my computer has two screens. The one you're looking at is the main one. It's a HDMI input. And I have a switch behind it. So I can switch from my computer's output to the in capture card, the Intensity Pro capture card's HDMI output as well. So uh, I'll just fire up my Xbox real quick. I'll switch to a third person perspective in a minute so you guys can see this. So I just turned on my Xbox and then you switch over to capture. And you won't get sound through here. Uh, just, you won't. That's simple. Uh, so that's pretty simple. Once you're playing a game, you say capture, you can name it. It's very simple. Uh, what you're going to want to do though, if I can sync you want to go to system settings and check your uh, display settings like mine's 1080i right now HDMI so that means what you have to do with uh, media Express is go to preferences and switch it to HD 1080i 59.94 because uh, it won't pick up because the capture card looks for the exact format that your Xbox is putting out so if this doesn't match up it, you won't see it there are a lot of different ones like even if you change it uh, say you want to change it to 780p on your Xbox and you have to go change it to 780p 59.94 yeah that's pretty much that and then it's different based on if you're in a different country this is America I think that's what our so now I will show you a third person perspective of how this works. Okay, now I'll show you guys in third person how this works and how to record. So just so you get an idea, so like I said, I have two monitors. Uh, the one on the right is HDMI, the one on the left is just VGA. So my computer is down there, you can see it, and my Xbox is uh, next to it, and this little tower thing I have. And the wires will run behind the desk, so you can see that. Alright. So now I'll show you. I 
my switch, HDMI switch behind my monitor. I press it. And what that does is it switches. It takes the uh, computer's output and shuts it off, so it's just VGA. So the only computer output goes to the standard uh, left monitor, and the output for the intensity card goes to the right HDMI monitor. And there's absolutely no lag at all. There's a little bit when you're looking at through the program, but just on the output, it's live. Like you can play fucking phone. You can play Black Ops. Now that's done. As I was saying, you can. The output is live. There's absolutely no lag. And you can play Black Ops, whatever. So that's how I do it. And say I want to record something over here. See, I want to record something here. I just go to record or capture. I can name it. Dash. Dash board test. And capture. Simple as that. And then you hit capture again to stop it. And what it does, you actually don't need to save it in the program here, because you, in uh, the setting and preferences, you actually select where the output goes to, because it automatically saves the videos as soon as you stop it. Fucking hey! Let me try that again now that I've unplugged all the goddamn phones in my room. So like I said, once it saves, it automatically goes to a uh, AVI file. Uh, I just created a little desktop folder for it, so it saves it all here. Dashboard test. It's a little laggy right now because I got a bunch of things open, but the video quality is actually very good. And another thing you can do with Black Magazine, Black Magic Intensity, is you can go to playback and then review things you've already recorded, and it play on the output card. So that's that. Any questions? Just send me a message.